goes. So I've been getting this question a lot lately. Why can't truck drivers get no jobs? Social media. Social media kind of ruined trucking. Like, it really started with the box trucks. It started with the box trucks. People talking about, oh, I'm making this, I'm making that, my fresh year. And, you know, of course, people that don't know nothing about trucking or nothing about running a business, they like, oh, they saying they making uh, $5,000 a week? I'm gonna make five thousand dollars a week. Like a lot of people is ignorant, so they think that they're about to be five thousand a pocket. No, a lot of people do not explain to you. It's a lot of stuff that go with this transportation stuff. I'm on ops right now, but even with the um company driver stuff, like sure this person might be making fifteen hundred dollars a week, two thousand dollars a week, but how many hours are they working? You away from your family, like the over the road stuff. I feel like as a company driver, it really don't make sense. I ain't saying don't do it, but I'm just saying they should pay you for, like, being away from your family and stuff like that. But they can't afford it. But anyway, social media ruined it. Like, even, like, with, um, like, I seen the TikTok probably, like, January of this year was, like, I, everybody keep on talking about being a truck driver, but they really need to tell you when it, when you see these people posting their pay statements and they talking about they're making three to $5,000 a week, they are not company drivers. They are lease drivers and that. And if you ain't got three thousand as a lease or owner operator, you're doing bad anyway. Five thousand is kind of bad too, especially like if you got a payment, like if you're doing a payment. And a lot half of the drivers they got payments, they just jumped out. They just jumped out to it. But anyway, social media, social media is the fault. But that's a lot of that's a, a big reason why a lot of people got into this as well. I'm not saying social media is bad, but a lot of people just they came into the trucking industry with like false pretenses, like like it wasn't realistic wasn't a lot of thought put into it. It was, it was just you seeing this person making money and a lot of people just jumped into it. A lot of people can't get jobs is say you make one wrong move, like a ticket, an accident, a rollover, um, a drop trailer. Um, even somebody putting safety on your deck report, uh, somebody putting a banner on your deck report, it's going to be really hard for you to get jobs because like I said, the market's oversaturated already. A few million trucks in America anyway and like, it's, I think it's like over 300,000 owner operators and like trucking companies. That's a big number. I know the world is, well, the United States is big, but that's still a big number and it's just like, it's not enough freight to go around. I know that shit firsthand. It's just not enough freight to go around to everybody. That's why I always just say, give me the company that got the guarantee. They ain't got the guarantee. I don't want it. And then some of them guarantees, you got to watch that shit. Like, I'm at a new company or whatever. They talking about, yeah. See, that's how they get you. Talking about, yeah, we got a guarantee. I was talking to him yesterday. He talking about, but they use your PTO first. Like, if you got PTO, they going to use that first. And then it's, um, then the guarantee can, um, probably not told him, like, that's not really a real guarantee. And, I mean, because I got to be honest. Like, I hate to be, like, that problem child, but I got to be honest, that's not no real PTO. And that really made me realize yesterday, I do got to get my own shit because I don't like how these companies be moving and all of the sneakiness. I'm going to do what I got to do here, but I'm going to be in, get my money to start my own shit, and I'm going to be right out. Just no experience. It's so many drivers, so many older drivers, like more experienced drivers that's looking for jobs right now. Because like I said, the market is trash. And then another thing is now they doing all of these high tech, cam now they doing all of these daggone high tech cameras, cameras with AI. That's, oh, they don't got their mask going high enough. Oh, their seatbelt isn't like this. And it's not over the chest. I want it over the chest. And it's like people having to switch jobs now. So... It's just, you don't got enough experience. You're not that favorable versus somebody that got five years of experience and it's going to be, they're going to be a better driver and it's going to be better for their insurance. And like I said, low freight, like a lot of this stuff, like say they might have had, say your company might have had 100 contracts. A lot of businesses close, so maybe they only got 40 contracts now. Another reason is, especially if you're female, if you are a female, it's no trainers. A lot of them companies, like the bigger companies, they done put hiring freezes. Remember like, Prime put a hiring freeze. Prime put a hiring freeze. Swift put a hiring freeze. A lot of these companies, they ended up having to do freezes because, like I said, so many people want to get into the industry because so many people people is posting their journey. I ain't, It's people on YouTube posting their journey, but not compared to the other sites. Like, because it's like YouTube is harder. Like, it takes a lot of work to put these videos up. Um, So, like, a lot of people post it. Even on Facebook, like, a lot of people posting their journeys on Facebook. A lot of these people posting their journeys on Instagram. A lot of these people are posting their journeys on TikTok. And people that say somebody at a job, they only make a $400 a week. They never get to travel. And they like, oh, wow. I can make $2,000 a 
a week. Um, and I can travel anytime when I can get all this freedom. Um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna get my CD out and it's low entry. Like, come on now. You for real, like I told y'all, I got my CD out in like two weeks. So it's no time to do that shit. So everybody wanna hop on a wave. Agent Ma said this shit a long time ago. What's the point of even telling somebody about something good? Because once it gets good and everybody hear about it, it ain't going to be good no more. Not the reason is you do not network. I don't get it. Some of y'all, y'all really only got social media truck driver friends. If you're a real truck driver, I feel like you should have real truck driver friends. Like, I had plenty of people to talk to even before I got on social media. Like, posting truck content on social media, I had plenty of people to talk to. It's like, y'all not getting out here networking at these shippers, these different receivers and stuff like that. You don't think so many drivers know about real good companies? I meet so many people, but it's really like, oh, I, I don't really want to move from the company I'm at because that's another thing why you might not be able to get a job. Not, I would say, this not going to disqualify you from every job by company hopping, but company hopping, that also affects you. Like, some companies, they don't take more than three jobs in two years, three jobs in three years. They getting real, like I said. People really think it's a shortage. No, no, like, <laughs> no, like, if that's the case, they wouldn't be tripping about no three dollars in two years. Sometimes I hear three dollars in three years, like, so, mm -mm. oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your post notification on. And I'm serious, y'all need to comment. And like, another thing is, you are stuck in one sector of trucking. Driving, reefer, and flatbed ain't the only way. Get your ass in a tanker. Go do the port work and stuff like that. Like, stuff that everybody is not doing. Everybody not doing the port, you know? You simply did not apply to enough jobs. You didn't apply to enough jobs. You know how many people... Some of these people is applying to about 50 to 100 companies. And you talking about you apply to two jobs and they playing games and ain't nobody hit you back. I'm telling you, it's not what it was. Like, it's so many people in this industry now. Now, the good thing is, people do get in and get out a lot. Most of the... I ain't gonna say most, but half the people, they not gonna stay in trucking. Half the people, they just not staying in trucking, period. Like, I was talking to this, y'all know I be doing Uber sometimes. So, I was talking to this one old head driver, and he was like, I was like, what you think about all these new people getting into the trucking industry? And he was like, I was like, um, but then we started talking, I was like, but most people just using it as a stepping stone anyway. And he was like, well, I feel like they in the way. Like, <laughs> like if you just using this to get as a stepping stone, I feel, they just, you know, some of the old drivers, they just feel like, it's in a way. Um, and I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I kind of felt that way at first. Like, oh, yeah. I'ma just do this. And I'ma get into it as a stepping stone. But now I just feel like I'm just too deep into it now. Like, I'm I'm deep into it. You know what I mean? Like, I might not be the one physically driving the truck all my life. But I think I will be in the trucking industry all my life. Or the transportation industry all my life. Um, like I said, I gotta go. Now I'm realizing that, like, all these companies that are monitoring everything now. This is... The, that, that part of the video now we gotta talk about uh, i didn't want to make this one i didn't want to make this one an uh, individual video because i felt like i couldn't make it eight to ten minutes you know i gotta get my coins so um i can't do the camera now a drive cam camera that one that triggers off of an incident that is fine but one that's monitoring you 24 7 and they like monitoring your eyes like if you look to a left too much now they contacting your manager oh this job was distracted driving and like i like somebody said that shit is gonna ruin your fucking career now like i said i ain't gonna say that i ain't never gonna work at a company like that because what i found out is the company i'm at now they got that camera like the one that's monitored by AI. Yeah, i talking about they had a fatality in uh 2019 that don't have nothing to do with me like <laughs> had nothing to do with me but i feel like it's like why what's the point of even company hopping because it's like that's keeping it but all the bus driving jobs, all the truck driving jobs, they gonna start having that shit in their truck eventually anyway. So you gotta get your own shit. And if I mean some of y'all is cool with it. Like I would say a, a fourth of drivers, they don't mind a can't that camera. Like I say, I'm okay with the one that's triggered by events. But if it's twenty four seven, you watching me all the time, if I look a little bit to the left. I was only supposed to look to the left for three seconds and you contacted my manager because I'm looking to the left for four seconds a little bit too long. That's too much. I don't do micromanaging and I had to realize that for myself. Like, you got to get your own shit. You got to get your own trucking company. You got to get, you know? But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. 
tell you what y'all think about these uh cameras that's watching your eyes and watching your every move telling you what you think uh why is it so hard for people getting into the trucking industry like getting a job after they already got their day on cdo oh that's another thing like some of these people they just want to get your money knowing that you can't get no job because you got them felonies yeah you can get your cdo but you might not be able to get a job unless you're gonna be working at western express but anyway um don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section even if it's just hey girl uh, I'll probably give for the consistency because I've been very consistent. Anyway, bye.